I just want to do God's will. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about your senior year because I had already graduated, right? And I graduated in 97 from Morehouse and I had my first um, job actually I had my first job working with uh, at, at uh, Anderson Consulting, which is really right. interesting. Right. I was really excited, you know. I was given some, some, you know, American Express card. I was placed. I was going to be traveling all mm -hmm. over the uh, country and as a consultant. And but I had requested to be placed in Atlanta so that mm -hmm. I could be here with you. And they and so I, when I got my placement, I found out they placed me. I think in Texas. <laughs> and you remember what you said? Yeah. So in the in the last, first of all, welcome back to our channel. In the last video, we talked about just the beginnings of us coming together. So now what we're doing is we're picking up and we're talking about um, how we handled the the challenges in the beginning. Chris had just gotten his job at Anderson Consulting. They told him that he would be placed in Atlanta mm -hmm. and that changed and he was told that he was going to be placed in Houston, Texas. Right. And he gave me the news. <laughs> now remember, we said in the beginning of the video, he asked me to come to Atlanta so we could be together. What that also meant is I was somewhere where I had no family and had very few friends. I, I didn't have a, co a, a community where we were. So when he gave me this news, I I don't think I took it very well. Because I had been, I was in a training. They sent me to St. To, to Illinois, I think St. Charles, Illinois. So I wasn't weeks. pregnant yet yeah. I, mm -hmm. when, when this happened. Right. So we talked about, uh, we haven't even talked about the pregnancy yeah, yet. We'll we come just, to that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you were in training. Yeah. Okay. So I came back and I found out about my placement. And you said, you know, I don't want to be here by myself. Right, and right. And you asked me, I said, well, the only way is either I accept the job, you know, cause, mm -hmm. or I turn it down. I had already accepted the position and accept the assignment, rather. And, you know, they gave, they, I got a nice signing bonus and, <laughs> and I had a company car and, and the Mac Express card, all these, <laughs> all these perks. I was just, oh. Uh, wild about this but you know I took what you said to heart and I, I saw that you were not going to be comfortable with me not being here with you well what that meant is he was never going to be home mm -hmm. um, that that last year I, I pretty much would have been there alone what we didn't know is I was pregnant mm -hmm. at, and it, so it all started to make sense later we were we did not know at the time that um we had a child coming so so i had to make a tough we, decision yeah we just had to make the decision based on um what we believe was right at the time mm -hmm. because that's all the information we had yeah. and at that moment in yeah. time he made a decision that he wanted to remain there to to support me and um, to be there and available for me while I finished my last year in a place I made a decision to come to so I could be with him. Uh, other than that, I would have just stayed in California and just waited for him to finish college. But the right. whole point was for us to be together so we could grow and build together. Mm -hmm. So I, I gave up the job pretty much. I contacted him, told him I, I requested to be placed in Atlanta and they did not give me the assignment. They had, they had given other people the assignments they wanted, but they didn't give me the assignment I wanted. So I turned the position, gave up the position, left that position, and uh, and it was a tough decision. But it was a decision made in the interest of us and our mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes mm -hmm. you may have to make tough decisions like that. Mm -hmm. And I know one thing: it, that decision that I made communicated how I value. Yeah. You know, my soon yeah. to be. Um, we know, were already married. Well, yeah, but mm -hmm. I value my wife, you know. Yeah. So making that decision as a husband. So, mm -hmm. um, 
I think we can go. Well, after and, that, yeah, you happened. ended up, he oh, got, a got a job. He found a job yeah. <laughs> right after that. Uh, I, I don't even think you had a gap. You found that job mm -hmm. while um, you were wrapping up the job at Anderson. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what the timing was, but there was no gap in income at all. I just remember that, that yep. there was no gap. He found a job. At, um, the at a major senior mm -hmm. citizen center in Atlanta. And I came on, I think, as a program mm -hmm. manager or something like that, and then transportation yeah. planner. Mm -hmm. And they were great people, you know. Mm -hmm. they, they Actually, they we, found a community we found a community there, which is really what I needed once I found out I was a mom-to-be. Yeah. So... And I'll say the name. It was called Quality Living Services. Uh, Mrs. Irene Richardson, and it was an amazing place, amazing place. They took care of us. Uh, I, my first, you know, job out of college, and yeah. you remember what they did? So special for us. Well, <laughs> oh, shortly after that, we found out I was pregnant, yeah. and we had a child on the way, yeah. which is our oldest, our son, and um, I was approaching going into my senior year. So uh, it was really a faith walk because I was in my senior year and also needed to finish up my internship. So I, uh, in, in order to do that, mm -hmm. it was either take 12 units or take the normal four to five classes and come back and take one more class, I mm -hmm. think, to finish up. I decided no. Uh, my final semester, I just decided to just knock out the remaining cred, uh, units, which was about 22. Yep. So, again, we had a, a sense of community at his job. We really did. One of his, his supervisor found out we were going, well, I, because he, he was already done with school, I was going to the computer lab to type my papers once she found that out, she allowed us to borrow a computer she had at home mm -hmm. that she wasn't using. Yeah. So I was able to, rather than going to the computer lab and sitting in there until midnight and sometimes one in the morning, to actually typing my papers at home. This is the first example mm -hmm. of how we found that different people in our lives have, mm -hmm. have, uh, have gave and given to They've been giving us. to us, yeah. yeah. To support us on our mm -hmm. journey. Absolutely. So that was one thing, and um, you know, of course, I had the I had support at home. Getting through the senior year, we had the support of the Quality Living Services, support of QLS, mm -hmm. that community which consisted of elders, yeah. and so we had a community of elders in our lives, which was truly, truly valuable to us, and we came home. My mom gave us a baby shower. When we returned, the the community of elders gave us a baby shower yep. as well. Sure did. So we had two baby showers. Yep. That was Never really, that. really just very special to us. Mm -hmm. It really was. They were a family. Yeah, home, they really were. Away from home. They, they had become our family yep. uh, away from home, yes. So I'm in my senior year, last semester, I went into labor during spring break, and the way we navigated that is we put together, a. we always had a bag ready. We, yes, we read what to expect when you are, you are expecting, <laughs> and um, we had, we had a backpack, we had the call list, so my husband had that, we, but he had one more thing, and that was my schedule because um, he was going to need to contact, if I went into labor at any point before spring break, he was gonna need to contact my professors to let them know that I had gone into labor mm -hmm. and find out what work I needed to turn in. I went into labor during spring break, so that worked out. And you were taking 22 hours? Yeah, I was, I was taking 22, yes, That's yes, yes. Classes. Yeah, and um, went into labor during spring break, so I had two weeks to, re to just recover from the delivery. And um, I think I probably took one extra week. And I took time off, right? Yeah, you took time off. He contacted my professors because I think I may have taken one extra week because I went into labor um, during spring break and I mm -hmm. needed an extra week. 
So he went, contacted all of my professors to let them know I had just had the baby, find out what needed to be done, or turn in my assignments because I had the syllabus, so mm -hmm. I knew what needed to be done. And then I returned and took finals because spring break always comes just before finals. Yeah. And uh, went back, took the finals. He stayed home with our son. And um, he was Mr. Mom. <laughs> right. He was the caregiver while right. I finished up my last two weeks. And I graduated and we prepared to return home yep. after that. Yep. And, you know, in preparing, as we prepare to wrap it up, in preparing to return back to the Bay Area, the Bay Area, we started thinking about the contribution and the impact we wanted mm -hmm. to make in mm -hmm. the place we called home when yeah. we were raised yeah. in Oakland in particular. Mm -hmm. So we started writing down our ideas, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. We started writing down our ideas and dreaming and envisioning about what we wanted to do, who mm -hmm. we wanted to work with, yeah. how we wanted to do it. We didn't know right. what that was going to turn into, but later on, fast forward, you know, we have a nonprofit right now called Lift Inc. And we'll talk more about that later. Yeah. But the, the ideas that we developed and we wrote down, that's the end of that senior year, we actually implemented years later. Right. I think that's so right, amazing. Right. Right. So so that's yeah. working together. Right. Through studying, through preparing mm -hmm. for to become parents. Mm -hmm. Through mm -hmm. you know, my supporting my wife while she was with her goal and dream to graduate college. Um, that was all the groundwork mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. a lot of work we were gonna do together as parents, right. mm -hmm. as um, co founders of a nonprofit as entrepreneurs. Right. That's right. Yep. So I think uh, this wraps up this video. Mm -hmm. uh, what we, we went down memory lane talking about our undergraduate years, and uh, we're gonna go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I think and how how we how we started working together, mm -hmm. and how we developed a chemistry, because it's not just about working together, but it's about having synergy, mm -hmm. and I think. It yeah. started with us living together and learning how to be a couple, yeah. learning how to be partners in college and yeah. learning how to be study buddies. Caring about each other's <laughs> goals. Right, right. All of that was the groundwork for what we were going to do mm -hmm. in the future. Right. So in we the continue. next video, what we're going to do is share, um, we're going to share this, the, the next phase of that journey. Because mm -hmm. uh, as we said earlier, we have been married 23 years and we've been working together professionally uh, since, um, since 2001, one, right? So mm -hmm. we've been working together for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And I think that is mainly why we've decided and we're still married. Right. <laughs> some, couple, 24 years or so. some couples that 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 would be the deal breaker there where when they start working together things sometimes problems emerge mm -hmm. after that but we've been able to stay married right and um you know a lot of that has to do with our faith mm -hmm. and our decision in the beginning that divorce wasn't an option it was not an option so that meant that if divorce is not an we option, have to be on our knees a lot, right? Praying. We have to work it out, right? Yeah. We have to work it out, and we have to rely on what we know works, what we believe works, and that is our faith. And get this: while we were in school in Atlanta, mm -hmm. preparing for our careers, building our marriage, we were also reading books on how to be married. Yes, listening yes. To, going to listening to uh, mm -hmm. conferences on video and. We wanted, we were doing the things to make sure that we could last. Right, right. And be right. healthy, so. Right. All right, well, let's go ahead. We, we, uh, we'll see you in the next video, mm -hmm. and uh, we hope you found a lot of value. Remember, we're telling our story. Yeah. So, stay tuned. Remember to subscribe. <laughs> but then the Good Samaritan came by, and he reversed the question. If I do not stop to help this man, what will happen to him? That's the question before you tonight. Not if I stop to help the sanitation workers, what will happen to my job? Not if I